Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to build a simple Wi-Fi based clock. This clock automatically adjusts its brightness based on the surrounding light and you can even charge it using a simple regular micro USB cable. So let's get started. And I'm going to order this PCB from JLC PCB because JLC PCB provide premium quality PCB at a very affordable price. As you can see, if you are order a 6 layer PCB from JLC PCB, then you will get a $30 off. And if your PCB size is under 100 into 100 mm, then you can get them for this $35. And the best thing is if your PCB size is 15 to 50 mm, then you can order them for just $2. And it's very simple to place your order. Simply upload your government file, select the PCB quantity, choose your color and leave the default setting as it is. And if you want a stencil, then click on the stencil option and add it to your cart and check out. It take roughly 1 to 2 weeks to arrive the parcel and I received my parcel in just 7 days. As you can see, after unboxing, the 6 layer PCB quality is just outstanding. The black color looks so amazing. So now let's assemble the PCB. So now let's assemble the PCB. First, I will place the stencil on the top of the PCB. This will help me apply the solar press precisely to the designated areas. Once the solar press is applied, it's time to place the components. I will start by placing the WH2812B LEDs. There are total 52 LEDs, but I will leave 4 LEDs to solder later. Next, I will place three push button switches on the board. Now it's time to refroze the solder. I'm using my Miniver soldering station and have set the temperature to 220 degrees Celsius. After a while, all the components are perfectly soldered. Next, I will solder some female headers on the back of the PCB, which allow us to easily connect the ESP8266 module later. After this, I will manually solder the remaining four LEDs. With all LED solder, I will now add an LDI sensor along with a 10K register. This setup will allow the clock to adjust the brightness according to the surrounding light. Next, I will add an on-off switch and a TP4056 battery charging module. This will enable us to use a recharge battery for our clock. After soldering these components, I will also add a battery slot. With the board fully assembled, it's time to connect our ESP8266 module. Once connected, I will upload the pre-written code. 
so now it's time to program our clock so i will connect this clock to my laptop and here you can see i have already written the code so i will simply select the port and board and upload the code After successful upload, our clock is off and it's running. The blue LED color looks fantastic, but you can customize it color according to your need. Now I will insert a battery and as you can see, our clock works perfectly in battery mode as well. To finish it off, I will attach a back cover along with a brass standoff and M3 nut and bolts. Now our clock is completed so let's test all its functions. As you can see it looks amazing and all the functions work exactly as expected. When I place my hand over the LDR sensor the brightness automatically decreases and when, when I remove my hand the brightness increases. The clock shows the accurate time by synchronizing with the internet over Wi-Fi. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please support us by liking, sharing and subscribing. And don't forget to check out JLC PCB for premium quality PCBs. The link in the video description. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next project.